people are sick when they they move to a point where they feel that they can say anything about me. And a strong rebuke against Atlanta's NAACP president who released a scathing letter criticizing his record as mayor from 2010 to 2018, Atlanta mayoral candidate Kasim Reed, surrounded by supporters, addressed several attacks lodged towards him. 90% of what they wrote was overwhelmingly false. Third, they should see the photo of Andre Dickens and the person who wrote it campaigning together. Last week, Atlanta NAACP President Richard Rose pulled a rare move by breaking usual protocol for the NAACP and outright denounced Reed's candidacy, calling his tenure as mayor corrupt and urged voters to choose wisely in next week's election. I mean, he can say what he want to, but prove it, you know. I mean, tell me that those court records are false. See, I mean, it's a fact uh, on Kasim Reed that he, all those people were indicted <laughs> on, the, on the, his administration, people he picked. The letter criticized Reed for a lack of affordable housing, questioned the city's investment into the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and disinvestment in black-owned property, including Morris Brown College. Rose brought up a corruption scandal that plagued Reed's time in office, where some members of his staff were charged for fraud and bribery. Rose also questioned Reed's record on policing, claiming he failed to support President Obama's 21st century policing policy, which aimed to boost police accountability. And I'm not going to let them make a bit of light between me and the police. Because if I do, then crimes are going to go from 62 percent to 70 percent. Reed denies all of the claims in Rose's letter. Rose's comments also caught the attention of the NAACP's national president, who told him to immediately cease any endorsement or condemnation of political candidates and that Rose's actions would be addressed internally for breaking usual protocol. None of us are perfect, you know, and so uh, that includes me. I have apologized. I won't make that mistake again. But despite how Rose got his message across about Reed, what he said runs deep within Atlanta's black community. If you have been here in the city, um, you know, for more than 10, 15 years, you, uh, you understand uh, the policies and the impact of a Kasim Reed administration um, and how it's been targeted, targeted to poor black communities, right? Targeted. If you are, have been in the city for, let's say, you know, five years or less, you have benefited from that targeting of those poor Black communities no longer existing. Corruption certainly existed in the Reeves administration. I think that's incontrovertible. Seven individuals, not more, to be either convicted, indicted, or whatever. Clark Atlanta University political science professors Dr. Tammy Greer and Dr. William Boone says Rose's comments have merit. Gentrification and prioritizing big business interests have squeezed out a chunk of black residents who now make up large portions of the city's south side. Unemployment, um, the poverty, the um, income disparity, the housing disparity, the infrastructure dis disparity, the social services disparity has not improved inside of the city of Atlanta under Black leadership. So it's, it's unfair to just say it was all on Reed, yet Reed continued a legacy of such. Both professors say as the Atlanta mayoral race nears the finish line, many of the candidates have doubled down on crime and policing as their key issue. But Greer and Boone say other issues are not getting enough attention at the detriment of the city's black residents who lives with a poverty rate of around 30 percent, much higher than the city's average of 20 percent. There's a problem in the city of double digit poverty for the last 40 or 50 years. Which, which talks about the inequality of income and wealth that we've talked about recently, which you just mentioned. So these are the real problems. Specifically yes. the black community. Yeah, in the black community. The these are, these yeah. are real problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are problems that need to be addressed in some fashion, in consistent fashion. And none of the candidates are really in the consistency 
have raised these kinds of questions. As of this report, nearly 16,000 voters in Atlanta have already voted for the city's next mayor. 48 percent of voters are black and 39 percent are white. In a poll released last week of likely voters, former Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed and Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore are statistically tied for first place. But most voters say they're undecided. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Kevontae Smalls.